Hi, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and I'm here today to present a Christmas holiday box that I made using Sweet and Sassy stamps. Um, you, This is actually a giveaway hop open worldwide. Please see my description box to see how to enter this giveaway for a $20 gift code to the Sweet and Sassy stamps online store. So now let's get started. Um, I ended up using the Folk Art Snowflake stamp set from Sweet and Sassy, and I just... I love the size of the snowflakes and just thought it was really, really cool. And again, I'm going to create a box. So the first thing I did was grab a piece of watercolor paper and trim it down to be 8 by 8 inches. And then I ended up using Distress inks in uh, tumbled glass, wilted violet, peacock feathers, and blueprint sketch. And just kind of watercolored a, a base on this. So you can see I'm just kind of going back and forth and adding, adding colors, different colors. And just really filling in that background with a variety of these uh, blue and purple colors. These are actually my favorite colors. So yeah, just just adding adding color here. Just continuing to um, color the color the background here. So when I'm done, I'm going to dry it and then actually uh, emboss the snowflakes on top. And so this is a um, this is demonstrating the adding the snowflakes to a background that has been watercolored again on watercolor paper. So I am using um, using clear embossing powder because I want the color underneath to show through. So again, once that once I emboss that, then I'm going back and adding a second layer, um, and you can see how those those snowflakes are just popping right through. I just thought that was kind of a kind of a unique thing. I think Jennifer McGuire did it with ink blending, and I did another video using this technique with uh, fall 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 leaves um, earlier this year. So again, here I am just adding that second layer. And you can see how the snowflakes are popping right on through. And I'm adding some water, spritzing it once in a while. So again, there's that. And I, once it's completely dry, that's when I can go ahead and make the, um, you know, the punches and the lines to actually create this mini box. So here is my base background here. So I'm going to grab my We Are Memories Keeper um, envelope punch. And what I did on one side was punched it at one and three quarters and drew a line, and then at four and three quarters and drew a line. And then you pop the box or pop the piece totally around and do the opposite side, and then basically you just join um, you know, the two sides together. So, you know, obviously I've already, already made all the punches and the lines and everything. So here I am just kind of, um, burnishing the folds to make sure the box will go together. And then you have to cut so that it creates the flaps that you then can use to attach the box together. So this is kind of how it, how it folds up here. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and put some of the um, red um, adhesive tape on here. Decided to do a little trimming here first, obviously, to make sure that it, it was square and fit together nice. So now I'm picking up that red, red tape and I'm going to attach the box together by taping on the sides. And then I will tape the flap and put that down over, um, you know, over the two sides to hold the box together. So just kind of working through adding the red tape. I always kind of struggle trying to get the, get the, um, the non-tape portion off there. It's always a little bit of a challenge. 
But again, I like this tape because it is much stronger. So it's still kind of working here, taping the box together. So once I actually got the box together, I kind of decided I probably needed to do another printed piece for the inside just because I had, you know, kind of messed up and got watercolor on the inside of the box and I didn't like it. So what I did was just take a piece of, of Cougar and just randomly um, printed or stamped the stamps using the Distress Ink colors. And so I basically am going to do the same thing again. So starting one and three quarters and four and three quarters on one side and then rotating it completely around and doing the other side. You can see I'm kind of full, or forming an oblong box here. And then you go back and then you just um, punch and then draw the line to meet the other lines going the other way and then you'll have your box. So I ended up trimming off the corners here because I didn't really need those to line the inside of the box. And you'll see here I'm kind of messing with the tabs and um, you know trimming the piece um, since it was exactly the same size. Obviously to fit inside I needed to do some trimming so that's what you see me doing here. So then I'm just going to fit it down inside of there and then I'm going to run my um, tape gun around the edges here to, um, to at attach it. And you'll see I still have some more trimming to do once I do get it put together, but that's not a, not a difficult thing to do at all. I tried the red tape and then decided ah, I'm just going for the um, collage medium because I knew that would that would make it adhere well. So, so then I kind of had to hold these guys in. So there I am trimming um, the edges off there. So there's my box as it's going to fit together and of course I had to do some fancy um, additional tags and things to really make it um, make it look festive. So here I am kind of stamping the um, snowflakes and embossing them on uh, round tag type of things and then I'm using a um, tag maker um, from We Are Memory Keepers as well, but with the little metal um, holders that hold the snowflakes in. So then I'm going to heat emboss those, and I did, um, I did two per tag, um, so that I could have one, you know, totally finished on each side, and then I made three of the um, three of the three of the tags: one large one and two small ones that you see me doing here. And I used a sparkle um, Ranger sparkle teal embossing powder. So here I am kind of popping them inside um, the metal rings and then I'll use that, um, that tool to kind of squish the rings down. 
I think I bought this uh, set at a garage sale or something, and I, you know, I've had it for a while, but haven't used it very much. But again, it seemed like it was perfectly appropriate for for this particular um, project. I also then took the Distress ink and some seam binding and created that ribbon bow there. So here's the final box. You can see it's, um, you know, it's got the the um, tags on it and some embellishments. So thanks for stopping by. Please feel free to follow me on my social media accounts all under Terry's Mailbox, Instagram, Facebook, Blogger, and YouTube.